Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn how to make UFO cat on scratch. At the end of this video, you are going to be able to make a game just like this one. Let's get started. So first, uh, I'm going to tell you the surprise that we are going to need. First, you must have two grounds, and then the UFO, the main character, and the pipes. Also, a backdrop, okay? Two backdrops, game over and original. So, first, we are going to work with the grounds. To work with the grounds, just add a uh, when green flag is clicked block, okay? Over here. And then. Round one will go to X zero and Y zero. Also, don't forget to add a show block, and then go to controls and add a forever block. Repeat until repeat until block. Repeat until X position. It's less than two hundred, less than four hundred fifty six. will change x y negative 5 and then after that it will it will go to uh, x position 456 and y 0 click on the green flag again as you can see the background is now moving okay now go to locks and add a switch backdrop block okay it will switch backdrop to backdrop one and then go to ground two we're going to code ground two okay to make it more easier just drag this code from ground one to ground two now we are going to only change a few things okay so ground two when green flag is selected is going to go to x 456 and then only that okay now click on the green flag again as you can see everything is perfect now the breakdowns are moving perfectly okay so next we are going to work with the cat ufo okay so we are going to make the cat ufo now to make the cat ufo go to events and add a uh, when green flag is click it block we're going to make a new variable and it's called gravity as you can see the gravity variable is already over here so set gravity to zero okay now go to controls and add a forever block before that go to motions and add a go to block okay so when the flag is click at the cut the force going to go to x negative 140 and y zero okay now inside the forever block add a change y block okay it will change y by uh, gravity and every time the forever the gravity will change gravity by negative one okay now go to control and add an if then block okay go to operators and add an or block so if it's touching the hold up it's lagging okay so if the cat of four is touching ground one or touching ground two that hold up if touching ground one or touching ground two that it will hold up give me a second i'm just gonna stop this first and then go to controls again and add a if then block okay so if x position i mean y position is larger than zero as y if y position is larger than larger than zero then it will go to hold up it will go to x negative 140 and y position is negative 70 and 97 okay now uh, duplicate this code so if y position is less than is less than zero if it's less than zero wait wait wait, wait, wait. 
we get something wrong here. If y position is larger than zero, then it will the y position is going to be 97. I'm sorry about that. And the right one is, uh, if y position is less than zero, that it will uh, go to y position negative 97. Okay. Now, after it touches the ground, then it pulls at gravity to zero. Okay. Like that. Let's click on the green flag to test it. And there we go. So uh, now we're going to make the controls of the sprite. The controls are very simple. Okay. So. For the controls, just either when green flag is clicked, block. When green flag is clicked, either forever block. <coughs> if so, if key up arrow is pressed, if key up arrow is pressed, then it will change gravity by 15. Okay. Okay, let's test it. Click on the green flag. Okay, that is too big. So we're going to put, think a number smaller, like five. Okay, like that. Uh, I'm just going to replace the change gravity block with set gravity block. Okay. So set gravity to five. Let's see. Oh, that's better. So uh, I guess there is no score system and the score variable doesn't even move. So now we're going to work with the score system. Just to work with the score system, just when green flag is clicked, it will set score to zero. Set score to zero and then add a forever block. Add a forever block over here. And wait every 0 0.1 second every 0 0.1 second it will change it will change the score by one okay change score by one let's test it and there we go every 0 0.1 second it will change the score by one but as you can see there are no obstacles so we're going to work with the obstacles now and which is uh, it is the pipe okay so, so we are going to work with the pipes now to work with the pipes uh, at the uh, one grip like a click it block when green flag is clicked, go to x mm, 256 and y is 0, okay? And then go to looks and add a hide block. It will hide, okay? And then go to controls and add a forever block. So forever, it will wait, uh, pick random, go to operators and add a pick random block. Wait, pick random from 1 to 2.5 seconds and then it will create clone of myself. And then when I start as a clone, it will go to X250 and Y is going to be pick random from negative 30 to 30, okay? And then it will show and then it will repeat until block, add a repeat until block. So it will repeat until y position is less than negative 256 repeat until x position is less than negative 256 and then uh, it will change x by negative 5 okay in the end it will delete this clone okay delete this clone let's see as you can see those are the clones It is, the system is working perfectly but what if we touch the pipes exactly nothing happens so uh, go to the cat of course right now go to events when green flag is clicked uh, add a forever block uh, if add an if then block over here so if touching the if the cat of voice touching the pipes then it will switch backdrop to backdrop 2 and then it will stop all go to controls and the stop all block okay <clears throat> so I'll click on the green flag test it 
Now we're going to touch this, the pipes. And game over. If we touch the spikes, we die. The controls are working very good, okay? Like that, okay? That is all for the video, okay? So, on this video, we already learned how to make a cat ofo game. It is a fun game, just like Flappy Bird, but this time it's a cat. So, uh, I, hope I hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, share this video to your friends and family. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye!